Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. So in this video, we'll talk about how to extend complex type in XST or XML. So the previous videos, we already talked about how attributes in XST and elements, how to define XST. So I will show you the directly demo and while showing the demo, I will explain what is a complex type, how to extend it. This is a car XST that we have developed last uh, video. So now if we wanted to extend the complex type. Now, if you see here, so first we are having car order and then we are having car order type and in that we are having products and address. So these are again a complex type. We are having a product and inside that we are having product code, product name, product quantity and product UPI is an attribute and we are having an address type which is already defined, which is already declared here and we are going to define here. Now, for example, my car business, I wanted to expand to an another country which is a UK. Now if I want to expand, so again, we need to write a complex type like this. So access column complex type UK address type. And so I just wanted to add for UK instead of uh, along with that line city state country, we need to have a zip code. So now I just wanted to add a zip code here. So zip code and type is equal to access colon string and I can close this. Now, if you see here, we are going to write a new complex type as well. But if you see these four, we are again repeating here and the readability of the XST document is getting decreased. And if you, in future, if you want to change here, line one, and again, you need to change here. So the repetition is also getting increased. So in order to avoid that, we have a concept called ex extension. So if you want that extension, so you need to use in a complex type I have defined. So in this, I wanted to use an extension. So before using an extension, you need to write access column complex content. So this complex content, so the, in the inside this complex content, you need to define your extension. So why this complex content? That means this is a complex type. I am defining, I am adding complex content in this complex type. So that's the meaning of complex content. Now here, I'm going to add extension because I'm going to extend that value so this is an extension it will ask for the base value so this is a base i am going to extend address type and i am going to close this now in this extension so along with this now you got all the four elements here now along with this i wanted to add a zip line zip code so instead of adding before adding zip code you need to write a sequence so in this sequence i am going to declare an element name is equal to zip code and then type is equal to says colon string. Now, if you see well formed and it is valid also. Now this UK address type, I need to declare in the product car order type. So I'm going to write it here, access colon element name is equal to, so UK address type and type is equal to UK address. Okay, so you can do UK address here. Okay, and if you do well formed and valid, this is valid. Now we need to create an XML file. So let's create an XML file and see how the structure is getting generated. So this is an XML file. Now it is asking, asking for a schema. I'm going to select a schema, which is car order XST and click OK. Now you can see products is getting generated under this product is there and you can see address is also there so in address you can see this is address and uk address is also there so if you carefully observe address is having a line only line and remaining elements are option elements so that's the reason because minocurs is not there for this so this is a required element so that's why we can see only line in here and these are option elements so we cannot see it here which is as expected and in UK address, if you see, we got all the four which is present here. We got it here and along with the zip code. So you can see zip code and line we got. So remaining elements are optional elements. If you want, you can add. So if you want line, so you can see if you want city, you can add it city here. So city UK. So like that you can add. So this is the way of creating, uh, extending complex content in an XST file.
Now you can provide your feedback at support.com. Thank you for watching this video.